newspaper, Grandpa. Oh, oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> Grandpa, why do you get a newspaper every day? Well, every day they're different. They tell you all about what's been going on the day before, like who won the football and what's happening in the world. And how do they know? There are people who work for newspapers called reporters. They go and look for exciting stories they write down and get printed in the paper. See? Like this one. Barker braves the burglars. That's the headline. A few words to get your attention so you want to read on. <clears throat> Burglars broke into the city museum last night, but local resident Mrs. Primrose Smedley was passing by with her pet dog, Barker. When the burglars came out of the museum with a valuable painting, Barker was on hand to keep them from escaping until the police arrived to arrest the criminals. Without Barker, said Mr. Unwin, the museum curator, the museum might have lost a priceless work of art. But brave Barker saved the day. Wow! Well done, Barker! <laughs> yes. Oh, there are lots more stories like that in the paper. Though the most important story, of course, goes on the front page. Hey, I think I'd like to be a... What did you call them again? Reporter. Yes, a reporter. I'd like to be one of those when I grow up. Well, you don't have to wait. Hmm? You just need a notebook and pencil. Hmm. You can start your very own newspaper. Today? Mm. Yes, I could. The Daily Zoo. Brilliant. Mwah. Uh, oh, Zoo, uh, before you start your paper, uh, could you take these gloves I've knitted to Nana? I will, Grandma, just as soon as I've got my reporter's notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Bizu, why are you in such a hurry? I'm looking for stories for the Daily Zoo. It's my new newspaper. Oh, that's nice. Well, I hope you find some interesting... Park. Oh. Ah, my first news story. Green Bird Turns White. <laughs> hmm, how about Green Bird makes Mom start her cake making all over again? Well, it's not quite as good as my story. Hmm? Huh? Oh, Pock! Is everything all right, Dad? Only just. Pock flew in and almost knocked my wallpaper paste over. It could have been a nasty accident. Disaster almost strikes as Dad decorates. Yes, that will make a good story. Zoo started his own newspaper. Oh, I see. No, I don't. Why did Pock... I mean, how did... No time to explain. I've got to find more stories for my paper. Mum, can I go and see if anything's happened to Mr Zoe? Yes, all right, Zoo. 